Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Welcome to another episode of Zippin' Gaming. This guy is Zippin', and Ithlodius is the next stage of our quest. We need to talk to him and find out uh, where we're going to go from here. It looks like Hermes is going to take the role of Fandango. Fan Daniel. Hey, I made it. Fantastic. <laughs> I present to you Calamelios Zephyros. Calamelios Zephyros. I'm going to mess that name up so many times. Yep. Here you will find a number of testing facilities, as well as the observation hub of Poiton Oikos. Okay. Right then. Let's begin by... Hmm. What? Oh. Oh, well, he is. Well, an Arrayus. How delightful. He is excited. Did you see him carrying that thing? He was so excited. Look at him. He's like, yeah! Ha 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 ha! Look what I got. Yeah! And this guy's like, somebody took my A rock. What, pray tell, is that? Ah, that's a new species of shark. We approved the concept but a few days ago. Ah, uh, cool. Sharks you put them on land. The most popular nice. sea creatures. Rare is the day when someone does not submit a new concept. Okay. At first, they were largely orthodox. Consideration given to such things as size and <laughs> environmental impact. And then a whimsical someone thought to bestow it with flight. Another superior intelligence. And then the floodgates burst. Concepts with multiple heads or arms or legs or arms and legs and so on and so forth. It was getting absurd. A part of oh. me wanted to tell them to go away and find something else to create. But again, I couldn't deny their passion. And <sighs> here we are. Oh, he's about to kill us. Thanks, man. Thanks for the history lesson. Here he comes. Well, bam! Who's that? Oh, what was that? Who is this? Heidelin? That was too close. Are you unharmed? <gasps> it's Heidelin, I think. Well, now, if it isn't a pair of familiar faces. I'm pretty sure. That we should meet you Oh, Vana. Whoops. Uh, yeah, Vana. That's who she is. As I mentioned earlier, the better part of the convocation holds that when we retire is when we return to the star. Why are you telling me this, Emmett? I didn't ask for this info, well, sir. She is not among said majority. Even after stepping down, she carries on with her work. Oh, okay, well. Vinar is her name, and she is the previous Azen. Oh. Am I in love? It has been a while, Hithlodeus. You look well. Less so, Emmet Selk. I dare say the lines upon your brow have both deepened and doubled in number. Aw, she's picking on him. A shame for one so young. <laughs> you must make an effort to frown less often. Emmet, you look so old. What have you been doing? <laughs> Aw. Easier said than done, thanks to your unruly successor. How is he, if I may ask? Incorrigible as ever. Rushed headlong into a volcano on the brink of eruption just the other day. I should be glad to share the tale in its entirety later, if you're so inclined. Oh, you know I am. You know I am. Now then, you are? Uh, my name is Zippin, and I'm here to save the world. Do you remember me? Do you remember me? Huh? Huh? Hmm? I say... Have you perchance come from the future? Yes, I have. Absolutely. I do not believe we have ever met, yet I sense my magic upon you. Mm, you right, you right. 
Therefore, if I wove the enchantment, I could only have done so at a later point in time. What manner of magic is this, if I may ask? Yeah, you two boneheads never stopped to ask me where I was from. A traveler's ward, of course. It prevents the corruption of one's ether. That sounds rather like the Blessing of Light. Does it protect you from the enthrallment by primals by any chance? Yeah. How about that? Let me give you a little backstory on what's going on. Primals, you say? Well, I'm not familiar with such beings, but if they enthrall by warping the balance of ether, then yes, the magic would afford you a measure of protection. Well, I'd then... Rather from your question that you are not ignorant to its presence. Nope. Hold on. From the future? That's absurd. Look, Emmett, you haven't asked me a single question. You just assumed your biggest Sumi face pants. What is it? Are you unable to speak of the matter? No, I really want to tell you guys. But there might be a, like a butterfly effect kind of thing. The reality to which you must return exists as a result of the final days. Yep. You cannot reshape the past to yep. undo the tragedies of the present. Can't be giving away too much info. Even though Heidelin is curious, I'm assuming that's Heidelin. So, your actions here will not change your history, but they may yet affect the course of ours. Yes. How very exciting. I'm quite fond of delving into the unknown, and there's naught more unknown than the future. Uh, correct. Bana. Bana? Banat? Until a moment finally arrives, we cannot know for certain what will come to pass, regardless of our supposed foreknowledge. So you needn't worry for us. Oh, she's trying to convince me to tell her what's going on. More Lady, importantly, you're going to make things worse. To such great lengths as to travel unto the past bespeaks the gravity of your quest. Yeah, uh, very astute. Will you not reveal it to us? Mayhap we can be of aid to your cause. Meanwhile, these two chuckleheads back here really didn't give a shit. <laughs> uh huh. If this is true, then you've been keeping quite the secret to yourself. No, look, you. Oh, don't you get me started. You have been doing a lot of assuming and. I never got a chance As to speak. As a representative of the convocation, I will hear it all. Your identity, purpose, everything. I don't have to do jack shit for you, man. I ain't got to tell you nothing. Nothing. He's like, you will tell me. I'm like, no, I won't. Why Who are you again? Why to a place more conducive to calm conversation? Yeah, you better shut him up before I have to go ask for Logan on him. I've been working Ooh, here for some, throw out some cards. at an old friend's behest. If it is agreeable, we may make use of my accommodation at Poiton Oikos. Poiton Oikos. Okay. I'm going to forget that name, too. Mm-hmm. We were meant to meet. I am certain of it. D we have already met. The future you and I have met. Else I wouldn't have marked you so clearly and sent you unto myself in the past. I didn't know you were going to be here, lady. It's precisely the sort of mischief I would get up to. I'm quite inspired, if I do say so myself. Oh, are you impressing yourself? It's not vain at all. I'm going to tell you guys a story. It's going to be a very tricky story because I can't give you too much information. <sighs> a 
wonderful aroma. I feel more relaxed already. Cool. How do I feel? Would that I had sweetmeats to offer, but I travel light out of habit. I wonder what a sweet meat is. What would be a sweet meat? There's plenty of hot water though, so please have as much tea as you like. Yeah. Now then, will you tell us your tale? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What if I screw everything up? I mean, I thought I was doing a good job by killing Zodiac, but uh, turned out to not be the best thing should I tell the tale a calamity called the final days has befallen the world the world has been sundered broken into shards mankind is being forced to flee the star hmm yeah you know what if we're gonna tell them something we might as well just tell them everything let's go Why don't you start from the beginning? I will. And I, I'm talking a lot. Yep, this all happened. Pretty big stuff right now. They probably can't believe it. Yeah, things are bad. Yeah, and about that. <laughs> They're all in shock. Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. I, how did I have a feeling he was going to say something like that? While not the words I would have chosen, I too have my doubts. Much of it borders on the incredulous. <laughs> they don't believe me. Very cool. Cool. I'll be, I'll be heading out. Deuces to both of you. What have you, Vanan? I didn't come here to make stuff up. Like... Not knowing the precise details of the first final days, it is difficult to determine the veracity of the tale. Mm-hmm. Supposing it is all true, I must ask myself why I would do what I did. Why would I feel I had no recourse but to oppose the Fourteen and create this Hydaelyn? Circumstances change, of course, but it would not have been an easy decision regardless. No, there must have been a reason. One compelling enough to force me to take such drastic measures. Ah. Uh, so she's getting it. The Let's go. Which I said would serve as a guide. Yeah, it led me to other Elpis flowers and ultimately to Elpis which is this place, and meeting you? That it's of import to your mission is plain, but your presence here leads me to believe that this place also holds significance. Yeah, because it's the same name. But what could it be? <laughs> what are we meant to accomplish? You know, I've been here so long, I'm not even sure what I need you guys to help me with. <laughs> Might it not be simply thus? In the future whence he came, the final days could not be averted. Mankind has no choice but to flee the star. Okay. By alerting us to that eventuality, perhaps you wish to pave the way for other futures. So we're going to intentionally alter the future. Theoretically speaking, it is a possibility. Yet if that were my primary objective, I see no reason to guide our friend to Elpis specifically. 
the capital and yeah. Amorot, or even my own home would be more logical destinations. True, true. I note also that Heidelin did not specify a point in time to which she must return. By this, it may be inferred that it was not critical that we should meet. Alternately, she had reason to believe that our paths would converge, coincidental though it may seem. Hmm. Hmm. This is quite a puzzle. And we do not have all the pieces. And I look. Hardly <laughs> any. But we do have one immutable fact. The only thing I can do is just tell you what's happening. That's it. If the final days are indeed as described, they will bring death to all that I hold dear. Oh, yeah. Everybody gonna die. Despite being afforded long years of preparation, the only provisions I could make were for flight. Nay, my first and foremost endeavor would be to find a way to forestall the coming doom. Given that even the 14 okay. failed, Mayhap you deemed it impossible. Nothing is impossible. This I have always believed. I kind of believe is I I, I kind of share the same sentiment. Enough if time Evelyn is indeed me. Anything's she would possible. The same. Is indeed me, she would believe the same. So right now she's not hiding. Listen to yourself. Are you seriously entertaining the notion that you are a messianic figure in some far-fetched tale? Emmett, what you need is some calm down juice because I'm getting a little tired of your sarcasm, bro. Well, I will not. I refuse to accept that our world <laughs> could be undone by some unforeseen calamity. Cool, man. Excellent. Um, I mean, feel free to show yourself out. The adults need to talk now. <laughs> I also take offense to my portrayal as a megalomaniacal madman. Oh, his ego's hurt. Mm. Yeah. To sacrifice oneself for the star is a noble act, and I would hold those who gave themselves to this zodiac in the highest esteem. Mm hmm. Yet. You claim I recreated Amarot and populated it with phantoms of our people? A bizarre indulgence that would be insulting to their memory. Worse still, I even invited you there. Literally invited my own downfall. Why would I do something so idiotic and inexplicable? I mean, are you, is this how you go crazy? Do I make you go crazy by telling you all this? Or your eyebrows at me, now, sir? I will allow that the hypothetical task of restoring our world would be daunting in the extreme. The thought of having to bear such a burden for a thousand, thousand lives horrifies me. Great. But I would never forsake my duty. I would never forsake my power. I would never... I mean, you don't have to believe you any of this. Do not know me. Look, you don't have to believe anything I tell you. Not a not a word. I just came here for some sort of help. I've had my fill of your fiction. I will return to my duty, and you will not bother me again. Fantastic. Deuces. Don't let the door hit you where the good lord split you. And we lost. Ilotheus too. Yeah, those two yahoos, man. Hmm. You've seen much of Elpis already. If you have any observations to share, I should like to hear them. Um, Hermes is going through a lot. <laughs> That's what I would like to share. Yeah, I think that 
Aksha or Dynamis is what they call it is the key to all this. I really do. I think there's got to be some correlation. Ah, yes. The energy distinct from ether. Though not my field, I have a basic understanding of Dynamis. Okay. And you say Hermes researched the phenomenon in the course of creating Meteon. Yes. I believe this warrants further investigation. Where have you been? I've been investigating the crap out of those two. Dang it. With that settled, it is time for action. To war! Or discussion? The missing pieces Maybe? of the puzzle are here. I'm certain of it. And when you find them, the picture my future self has painted will be complete. And you will have your answer. And suffice it to say, I will aid you in your quest. Cool. Have faith. If Emmet Selk is the man Azam described to me, we've not seen the last of him. Oh. This is, I, I don't, it does not bother me that he's not here <laughs> at all. I mean, great character for sure, but his reaction to what I told him is completely bananas. So we'll see if we can turn old Emmett Selk around and contributing towards saving all of existence. But we're going to do that in the next episode. So. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for your love and support. And until I see you in the next episode, happy gaming.